the Chesapeake Bay has provided a living for folks here for 200 years or so, and now it's the Chesapeake Bay that's threatening to take us away from here. <laughs> James Eskridge knows his hometown is in trouble. The science is unquestionable, definitely climate change related. Welcome to Tangier Island, home to just under 400 people, a working class town of fishermen and crabbers. Once an oasis teeming with farmland, now the small Virginia town in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay is sinking. Eskridge is the mayor of Tangier. He believes erosion is the primary threat, putting his community in danger. Our main concern is the erosion because it's it's taking place at su such a rapid rate. I mean, I know you hear about sea level rise and, um, you know, we'll deal with that later. This creek has gotten wider over time. You can see it on the satellite imagery. Marine biologist Dave Schulte has been studying the environmental decline of this island for years. He says erosion is a problem, but rising sea levels because of climate change is what's putting Tangier underwater. Because of sea level rise, the water comes up. It's just going to be more and more difficult for them to hang on. They know that uh, they're on borrowed time. The clock is ticking for Tangier. The island is only about a third of the size it used to be, and Schulte believes that in another 30 years, people won't be able to live here. Schulte and his son recently published a study in the peer-reviewed journal Frontiers in Climate. Examining satellite imagery taken over time, they predict Tangier will be unlivable by 2051. You see the houses over there is raised, the, the front uh, the front steps are raised and there's standing water underneath. That means the water table has risen high enough to turn this all into wetlands. And, and that's uh, the water that's coming up through the ground? Yes. That's sea level rise that's in action. Sea level action. rise in action, yes. Not erosion. Yeah. Other parts of the country are facing similar concerns. NOAA says sea level rise is accelerating and U.S. coasts could see another foot of water by 2050. Evan Bush covers climate issues for NBCNews.com. Forty percent of uh, of Americans live in a in a coastal county, right? And so there's a huge population centers um, that that face this threat. Miami, Charleston, and New York City are all in danger. So are places along the Gulf Coast and in California and Alaska. This is a problem that will persist for for decades and centuries um, with the, the the warming that we've already created uh, today. Some big cities will be able to weather the coming storm, but with no federal or state dollars earmarked in the near future, Schulte believes Tangier can't survive. The school right now is up on stilts. Uh, it was on land at one point, but they had to raise it because now that, that whole area is marsh. Schulte and his son predict it will take $150 million to relocate the town and as much as $350 million to save the island. That's where we disagree. I believe it could be maybe I don't know, uh, 15 million, something like that, 20 at the most. The Army Corps of Engineers installed a jetty on the western side of the island a few years ago, protecting it from storms. The mayor wants another. And so you think if if you could build a jetty here? Yep. That would stop the wave action from a nor'easter coming into the harbor. But it wouldn't stop the water from rising. And without major action to shore up America's shorelines, over time, some land will simply disappear. Climate change is here. Sea level rise is directly impacting American citizens, and we're going to have to decide as a people what we're going to do about it.